and we're gonna go into the coca-cola factory and i didn't even say what's up <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like and turn on notifications and also in this factory they have uh soda tastings so you go in and you taste as much as you want so yeah cool well, we're gonna park so i'll see you guys in a few minutes so we just parked, and now we're gonna... Is that the elevator right there? That box, that box. We're actually gonna go down the stairs because we're only on the second level. Level two. Here's the Coca-Cola factory, and there's the aquarium from yesterday slash last video. This is actually a close to parking lot for the aquarium. Yeah. There's the Coca Cola, I mean the Coca Cola. There's the aquarium, the Georgia Aquarium. That place was awesome. Big whale shark, that was insane. It's okay. <laughs> Which one do you want to cook? Yeah. So you grab your own at this little station to have. So that what kind of what taste soda did you get? Diet Coke. You got that? What'd you get, Ma? Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Tastes better than Diet Coke. Mom's looks like, and mom's looks like that, and mine looks the same as all the others. different languages. Unfortunately, I only know two of those languages, so I cannot translate for you. Sorry about that, but you can take as many pictures and videos in this room as you would like. This will be the first and last time you are in this room today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wonderful world of Coca-Cola. Once you guys enter, please pick a red bubble, red Coca-Cola bubble to stand on with your party. Again, you can take as many pictures and videos in this room that you would like. This will be the first and last time you are in this room today. Now, if you guys didn't know, Coca-Cola is going to be celebrating our 135th anniversary this year, at the beginning of May, actually. That was such a long time for a company to be standing. Ooh, 
or they're my best buddies in my house. <laughs> but <laughs> all the artifacts in this room depict how strong we have been as a company over the years. Anytime a guest comes in here, I always like to play a little game of I Spy with them. It's like my favorite game ever. I like to see how well they know their history. So we're gonna play a little game of I Spy really quickly. All right, so I wanna see if you guys can identify the oldest and the most expensive artifact in this room currently. It is from the year 1896, so it's about 125 years old. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Every time I talk to you, she's just like, huh? I wanna see if you guys can identify a poster from the year, oh no, sorry, not poster, an artifact from the year 1972. Oh, you guys know already, what are you thinking? He was cheap. He's been here before. I recognize that haircut anywhere. I know it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yes, he is right. It is the pants. Good job. So these pants were from an ad um, Coca-Cola came out with in May of 1972. Their goal was to get uh, 300 million people all over the world and have them drink Coca-Cola. So what do, you want, what do you do when you want somebody to drink more of your product or buy more of your product? You offer an incentive. So for $2.98, I'm assuming that was like shipping fees or something, and proof of a purchase of a can of Coke, you could actually have these pants mailed to your house and wear them for the rest of your life. I'm so serious, it literally says it right there in the head. But um, yes, it actually, you could actually own these. Um, so unfortunately, it's not the same price today at all. I think $2.98 is about like a 12 ounce of Coca-Cola or something. But we do have this exact pattern of pants in our retail shop, which is your exit for today. How convenient. So if you guys wanna pick up a pair of five, you know, I'm not gonna judge you at all. <laughs> Yeah, so we have this pair of pants in there. The retail shop is actually gonna be your exit, just remember that. So, I believe, how long do we have till the doors open? Uh, two, two. Okay, three, two. <laughs> All right, so you, you guys feel free to roam about the room, take as many pictures as you would like. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the artifacts. Good job to everyone who guessed correctly. You guys can roam around the room as you would like. The doors will open pretty soon. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about these artifacts here. So if you guys uh, walked in and you saw some crazy kooky characters uh, that were above you guys, like my girl over here, her name is Wendy. She's doing a split in a nice little peppermint skirt. And if you saw this guy right here, looks like a guy from Monsters, Inc. And then if you avert your eyes over here, you'll see a, a crazy looking alien long neck vest, a tool belt and no pants, making very questionable fashion choices. And the guy right next to him, the snowball looking guy with the biggest lips I've ever seen, they are actually part of a poster here for a Super Bowl ad in 2008. So they are actually characters that came from Shanghai, China, and they were depicted to look like the inner workings of a vending machine. So all these characters are inside your vending machine, fixing up your Coke can, and making it nice and cold and crispy for you. So if you guys notice the doors have opened, I'm gonna actually have you guys, what, this way? All right, cool. So I'm gonna have you guys exit to my left over here and somebody's going to usher you in. You will be watching a feature film. You're and welcome. Right on, those masks on, those sodas that you got. And how big is this party? Three. Three. Excellent, we'll have you all go all the way to the end of the row. Thank you. Ow. 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 Welcome into the room. Welcome in everybody. Thank you for joining us in our Coca-Cola theater. Make sure to follow my friend Patrick's instructions as we are seated so that we can all enjoy this little short film we have together. Now, of course, my name is Ben. I will also be in this room with you. We're all going to be in today. So remember, at the end of your journey, your exit and only exit is on the second floor through the taste room and the retail store. Now, just some housekeeping things. Make sure to keep your face masks securely above your mouth and nose at all times. Not only in here, but throughout your entire visit, at least until you're allowed to remove it in the taste room upstairs. Also, keep those soda cans in the lobby closed. We're not going to open those until we are either in the taste room or out of the building today. Now, of course, during the video we are about to watch, no photography or videography of any kind is allowed. We're going to come right back down these stairs. And exit through the tunnel into the hub where your journey will begin. My next row for me. All right, then ne that next row back there, go ahead and stand up and exit right back down this way. 
And my last row. Go ahead and stand up back there and follow this other row down. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that video we had prepared for you. You're going to want to exit right into the hub where your journey will begin. Thank you so much for choosing to spend part of your day with us at the World of Coca-Cola. We hope you guys have a fantastic visit with us today. with the polar bear, so now we're gonna go into the vault. This will lead all the way around to the chamber area where our secret form is kept at. Make sure you keep face covering on at all times. Thank you.
Look, Ma, save our spot. Quick. We'll save our line spot. Okay, we'll save the line spot. Come on. Oh, oh my god, there's an upstairs. My face doesn't fit. Years. That was in the year 1985. On April 23rd, 1985, we put new Coke out on the market. So when we put new Coke out, we removed all the original Coca-Cola off of the shelves. So we couldn't find any traces of Coca-Cola nowhere to be found, not in grocery stores, gas stations, drug stores, but like it never even existed. Now, there's a huge backup into the world of Coca-Cola Hub. Let me know if you have any questions of any particular bits on the wall as well to you. Now, assume you are the one that 
$1,000. What a deal. Thomas and Wayne have confidence in their new venture, but they're a little capitalized. So they recruited local celebrities and followers and communities all over the country. One of the earliest examples of franchising, and essentially the same cigarette in place today. The Coca-Cola company produces the cigarette, sells it to the bottlers, who mix the cigarette, bottle it, and distribute it. The timing could not be better for the new bottlers. People will be bottles. Bottles made from Coca-Cola, too. We did, We probably would have never been coming here because of FGTV. We, I saw it on one of his videos to come to the Coca-Cola factory. So now we're here, and it's very cool so far. <laughs>
Oh, it's cool. As you walk through, you see different things. Is this tasting? I don't think they have tasting. Oh, the tasting's up there. The bear's gone. to go in in a few seconds. Please, the red for adults, the white for kids. The red, white for kids, and the red for adults. Yep. Thank you. Where do we go? Open ones. We should have got the front row. So we just got out of the 3D. It was good. But some of it wasn't really 3D. Like half of the movie was like, I don't know how to explain it. We're going to go to the tasting. So let's go. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Start with the veggie soda. I'm going to go for oh, I'm just going to go with the Fanta quick. Just to get. It actually doesn't taste bad. You need two hands. I know. Uh, Take it. Walking around videoing the whole entire time. Uh, push this for me. Whoa. 
that, that was just for me quick. All right, now what? Which one? But I think we've had the Beverly's the most disgusting one. What is it, Bre Beverly? Beverly's the most disgusting one. I'm going to try it. Holy. Well, if every other one is cold, right? Oh, that's disgusting. Never again. If you guys want to try that, try it. It's disgusting. Push. Push. Uh oh, me neither. Wait, was this Fanta? That was this one. Alright, we're up to Tanzania. Tanzania. Stony. It's probably going to be Stony. Ginger ale. My fingers aren't that big. Oh, I don't man. like ginger. Good. This is... Zimbabwe. This one looks like it's going to be good. It's not that bad. Strawberry. Stone. Stony is not that bad. Yeah, like I couldn't put your glass on. I can't drink any of these. They're not as bad. They're all disgusting. This is joy. Last one. <laughs> disgusting. That's it. I have what? What's the worst one? Beverly. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. Ready? Let's do it together. Uh, me? Again? No. I'm pretty sure this is the one we've had in Disney that's like horrendous. This is. Oh my god. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> Time soda. No offense, Italy. It's not your fault. Disgusting. Italy. It's all disgusting. Oh, but it's fun to taste them. I like to see my reactions. Oh gosh. <laughs> Dad, have you tried Beverly? Dad, have you tried Beverly? Yeah, it's disgusting. It's, it's really disgusting. Oh, a little, little, little. Yeah, mine too. We're going to go to the bathroom. Go wash our hands because our hands are all sticky. So yeah, we're going to go to the bathroom quick. Oh, man. I will be right back. Well, Dad, look at this. Look at these. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video, but that Coke factory was fun. Real fun. This is the Coke I got there in the beginning of the tour. I gotta admit, it is it's a good. Um, we are going to say bye here. And we're going to see you guys on the next one. Bye.